Yes, hi Aquarius. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Um, this is going to be your weekly love reading. I'm very pressed for time, so I have everything out in the open for us and ready to go already. Um, I just want to thank you for all the likes and subscriptions and the beautiful comments. Um, if this reading resonates with you, please be sure to like and subscribe. Um, the subscribe button is on the bottom left hand side of the uh the video it's a red subscribe button if this does not resonate with you please be sure to um check your moon rising and venus sign you know it is a general reading it's not meant for everybody okay so here we have the energy of the reading is going to be the uh king of pentacles so the king of pentacles is a very strong energy it's a very stubborn energy it's a very um uh my way or the highway energy it is somebody who's financially stable okay so that's the energy that i'm getting for the reading now here we have the ace of swords okay so the ace of swords is truth coming to light it's it's an ace card so it is new beginnings so um this is a truth that's going to be coming to light it can signify conflict okay but ultimately it's a take action card okay you're going to be taking some type of action now here this is clarified by the queen of swords okay so the queen of swords is strategic they're putting their emotions to the side and doing things um uh the correct way they're, they're really picking up their sword and and I feel here like you might be taking some type of action towards somebody. Now, the Eight of Cups here can represent a uh, water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. Um, this again represents someone emotionally disconnecting themselves from something. Okay, now this can be you, Aquarius, or this can be your person. There is, you are very much in your own reading here, Aquarius. There's a lot of sword energy. Okay, so swords are um, air signs, which are. Uh, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And again, this is a water sign. So this is being clarified by temperance, which is balance. Okay. So you're seeking some type of balance here, Aquarius. Now, here we have the King of Wands being clarified by the Five of Wands. So the King of Wands is a very free-spirited king, a very worldly king. Um, now, Wands does also represent communication. This is somebody who likes to talk to people, who travels the world, um, a very popular person, okay? Now, this is being clarified by the Five of Wands. Now, the Five of Wands is conflict, standing your ground, um, you know, strife. Now, Wands in general is a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy so I feel here Aquarius that you might be feeling really um tied down in your relationship again this can be vice versa okay but um, maybe your person is very possessive or jealous um, and is not allowing you to be your true self now here we have the nine of cups which is the wish fulfillment card okay so the wish fulfillment card again could be cancer scorpio pisces energy okay so this is being clarified by the eight of swords so the eight of swords is a trapped energy feeling like you can't be yourself feeling like you don't belong all right so i feel like it is your wish your biggest desire for your person to understand that they need to let you be yourself Okay, it is your utmost desire for this to happen. I don't feel that, you know, I mean, because you love this person so much, um, it would be a dream come true for you if they can understand that you need to be free. Okay, that you love them, not free in a sense of single, but you love them, but you need to be able to have the ability to be yourself. You need to be happy too. Um, now, the Knight of Swords here is being clarified by the Justice card. So again, here, Swords, area, uh, Aquarius is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. So this is you charging in with your sword held high and you want justice, Aquarius. You are telling this person that you want to be treated fairly and correctly you're not backing down you're not backing down now the ace of swords is being clarified by the six of swords again i told you a lot of you are so much in your own reading here aquarius um so swords again gemini libra aquarius energy um so the six of swords is somebody that wants to move into more peaceful water somebody that's tired of the conflict they're tired of the toxicity they're tired they just want peace uh, but at the same time 
you know, I feel like you really want to get your point across. You want this to just come across. You want them to understand and you want them to be over. I don't really get an energy that you want to leave them, Aquarius. You just you just need them to change this mannerism, all right? Now, here we have, again, the um, Eight of Cups, which water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and we have the Page of Swords. So here you are again, Aquarius, with a message. So as you can see, you have your person here, you're standing there with your sword up, and you're delivering this message, and you don't look like you're backing down. You're serious. You are serious. Now, again, your person might be emotionally disconnecting from you because of this total change in persona in you or you may be emotionally disconnecting yourself from this person because you're so dead set on on getting your point across that you don't want to involve your emotions in this so here we have the king of wands being uh clarified by the seven of pentacles now pentacles is an earth sign it's capricorn taurus virgo energy and i feel like you may be thinking back on a situation maybe a past relationship where that person did give you the trust and the freedom that you needed and you're missing that and you want that from your new partner okay i don't see a third party energy here i don't see any exes coming back um you know i, I don't see anything like that but i do feel like you know aquarius you may be thinking about a past relationship where you did have that freedom and you really wish that your person um who you love uh you know would would have that characteristic okay now the nine of cups here is being clarified by the five of swords now the five of swords again is an argument ensuing and somebody walking away but the other person still has their sword up they still want to fight okay so either you're ready to walk away from the relationship and your person wants to fight for you they're willing to change for you or you know you put your sword up and you're you know speaking your truth and putting your foot down and they want to walk away from you but you still love them you still want them you it's not like you want the relationship to end you want how they're treating you to end okay now um let's see here so now we have the knight of swords being clarified by the magician so here you go aquarius riding in with your sword held high and you've manifested this aquarius this is something that you've prayed for you've prayed to be able to speak your truth because you've been unhappy and again this can be vice versa aquarius all right now um you know you have prayed on, you know, how am I going to get this message across? How am I going to do this? Uh, you've manifested it. You've thought about it. You've obsessed over it, you know, and, and now you're finally coming out of your shell and you're speaking your truth. Um, so here we have the queen of swords being, uh, being clarified by the page of wands. So wands again is travel communication. It is also fire energy, Leo Sagittarius, Aries energy. All right. So I feel here, that you know you're going to be delivering this message and you're going to be delivering it passionately but you're not going to be delivering it with a lot of emotion so you're going to be very very cold in your deliverance you're going to be very serious like you're not joking all right you're going to be passionate about it but you're going to be you know a cold type of passionate like you're not doing this with emotion you're doing this because you're serious um, again, and th th this is probably why, because here we have the temperance card, which is balanced negotiation being clarified by the nine of swords. Okay, so again, this is swords. This is you, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, fear, anxiety, um, you know, being up all night, just really having a hard time with this Aquarius. You need balance. You need trust. You need freedom. You need balance with your person. And again, this can be vice versa, Aquarius, but I really do feel like it's your energy here because... Um, there's so much swords here okay so we have the five of wands being clarified by the ten of swords so this is telling me there's going to be conflict there's going to be a lot of competition there's going to be standing your ground which may lead to separation which may lead to um so, okay, so the Ten of Wards is, is Swords is something ending, something dying, and then something new coming to life. Okay, so it could represent a couple of things here. It can mean, um, it can mean separation, but it can also mean that the way this person is treating you that's making you unhappy, the situation in a whole of you being unhappy ends and something new illuminates and comes out of it. Okay, so we have the Eight of Swords here being clarified by the Queen of Wands. All right, so the Queen of Wands again is a fire energy. 
energy, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. Um, it is, you know, commute once does stand for communication. So your person may be a very controlling person, a very jealous person, a very possessive person, um, a person who's very quick to get angry. And this may be what's making you feel trapped. Okay. Uh, maybe it makes you live in fear that if you open your mouth and say something that they're going to leave you. All right. Um, but you're you're coming out of that Aquarius. You're you've reached a point where you don't care if it ends or doesn't end. I mean, you don't want to. I don't really feel like you want to lose this person. But you're reached a point where if it ends, it ends. If it doesn't, it doesn't. You have to get your point across. You want fairness. You want to be treated. You want balance. You want to be treated correctly. Um, if the relationship stands great, it would be your biggest wish fulfillment for it to continue and you be treated the way you want to be treated. But if it doesn't, it doesn't. But it is your highest wish that the relationship continues and you get you know treated fairly or this could also mean that it is your highest wish that regardless of who you're with you get treated fairly and you know so you know it has to resonate the way you know the way you want to take it so now the justice card is is uh, you know being treated fairly and now that we have that being clarified by the page of cups okay so again cups is water scorpio pisces energy so this person you know maybe a younger person and they're coming to you with a cup of love here aquarius okay so i feel here like you know because they love you they will give you justice um it may take a lot getting there because i think i see a lot of conflict here it may take a little bit of separation separation but i feel like you're gonna get your wish fulfillment aquarius so let's go ahead and um clarify this so we have the king of pentacles being clarified by new beginnings and communication so you guys are going to learn how to communicate a little bit differently and as i said we have the hangman here so it may be a little bit of waiting it may take a little bit of time to fix this situation but i be, believe it will oh look here we have the lover's card okay so this person is a twin flame connection they are a soulmate connection this is somebody that you want a deep commitment with as i said you know we they, they are your wish fulfillment they're like everything that you could want in a person there's just this one thing about them this controlling this possessiveness that's not allowing you to be you and that needs to change okay that needs to change aquarius so um let's see here what the romance angels have to say i mean i see it ending well aquarius you might have to stand your ground you might have to put your foot down um, you know, I mean, it can end in complete separation and we do have the, the 10 of sports here. Um, but I feel like, you know, I feel like, you know, either the new beginning is going to be with, um, because we do have the king of pentacles here. We do have new communication, new beginnings, waiting, and then the lovers. So it could go one of two ways, Aquarius. Either things can get better with your person and, you know, you get your wish fulfillment. They start communicating with you better. They come to you with that cup of love and start treating you better. Or, you know, you move on to something new and, you know, it may take a little time before you find someone new, but then you find your soulmate or that you may find that this person is your soulmate. One way or another, the way you're being treated will end. Okay. One way or another, the unhappiness, this fear, this, this nine of swords here, this fear, anxiety, sleepless nights, you being unhappy, that is going to end. Okay. How it ends, you know, if, if it's going to end with your person or with someone new, it remains to be seen. But um i you know i do see uh the, the cups here coming in with a cup of love so they may try to fix the situation you know they may try to fix the situation so here we have healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture soulmate this is your soulmate and then the underlining energy here is pay attention to the red flags the signs that are cautioning you okay so here aquarius i feel like it's saying you know this is a great relationship but the red flags are there the controlling the possessiveness you feeling trapped you have to pay attention to that and you have to speak your truth against this okay because like i said everybody deserves to be free and happy okay now healing family issues um you know maybe these arguments are happening due to family maybe they, they they're jealous over your family or controlling over family issues so we need to heal that part of the relationship um you express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture okay i feel like this is your person your person does need to express their love towards you they need to you know this is them coming here with that that cup of love okay they maybe they need to apologize to your family maybe something happened with family okay but they are your 
your soulmate, Aquarius, okay? Um, or one way or another, you're coming out of this with a soulmate because you came up here with the soulmate card twice. So either it's this current person that is your twin flame soulmate, or if this doesn't work out, you're going to meet your soulmate. But I feel very strongly like this person is going to come, you know, they are going to come... Um, toward you with that cup of love okay um they are going to um try to change for you okay so whatever family issues need to be healed will get healed um your soulmate is coming in aquarius whether it's this person or someone new there might be a little bit of waiting you might have to have a little bit of patience new communication is coming in but um you know love is gonna they may express their love to you i, I have both cards here okay all right, Aquarius, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Um, if you did, please hit the like button and please don't forget to subscribe. Take care.